Hey folks, this is a little bit an update video what was happening on this channel or better say not happening because I wasn't really active anyhow in the last six, seven months. And now it uh, looks like I will have some more spare time left because university took nearly all the time the last half year. And now I want to make videos more regularly again and you might uh, remember this motor here I showed in my last video in December and I wanted to make a video of this motor and how it is mounted and uh, when I make everything nice and tidy here because it's at, at the moment it's more a temporary solution but everything according this milling machine and this workshop here is on hold now because I might have the opportunity to get a new workshop room. I'm not really satisfied with this space here with this three cubic meters I have for my stuff that's just a little bit uh, not enough space for everything and also filming in this room is not so uh, easy to just quickly film something because I have to set up a light when I turn it off you can see it's hmm, quite dark in here and that also takes a lot of time to get this room ready to film and I hope in a new workshop room I will be able to put up permanently uh, the needed light and so on that I can just hit the record button and film something if I have something. That's also the reason why there weren't any videos the last time because if I had to make something I wanted to do it as quick as possible and when I film uh, it took about double the time. That's just set up of the camera and uh, keep track of the camera that the, the, the viewing angle is good and so on. Just is a, it's a lot of work and yeah. I will take you over to the new room now and show you how it looks like. And here is the room. Ta-da! It's already cleared out pretty much everything uh, that was in here before. The room is uh, 4 meter long and 2.7 meter wide and has a height of about 2 meters so quite shallow that's a little bit of a downside but I won't complain if I get this room here. Um, yeah it's uh, pretty much cleaned out everything already just this uh, sewing machine here in the back has to find another place because I cannot use it or I don't need it in my workshop. Here is uh, my bandsaw already not, I'm not sure about this workbench if I want to keep it or also throw it out because it's not a very good workbench but maybe for the beginning that's good enough so I can uh, take some time to build a new one or something like that. Up here the tool cabinets I will throw them out because I don't need them like that. And yeah here's uh, the drill press already. I think you should know that from previous videos and it was uh, forever in this room so I had to don't have to move it. The room is in a quite decent condition. The next thing I want to take care about is the floor. I'm not really sure what I will do with that floor. It's okay, it's not that pretty but I think it's quite flat. I have to check that but it doesn't feel like it had a, has a bow or something like that. So I really would like to not have to level the, the floor here. Maybe I will just paint it with some color so it looks a little bit nicer and that's all. The walls are in a pretty decent condition. Of course they need some paint and I will close up all this holes here in the wall. And then that should be pretty much all I have to do 
about the floor and the walls here in the room. The ceiling has uh, these uh, styropore plates mounted on it. I think I will remove them because I've already thought about the uh, light in this room. At the moment it's only this uh, fluorescent bulb here, one piece, and that's of course not enough. Because I also would like to be able to film in here without having additional light set up. That would be very good, so filming will be a lot easier. And therefore I thought to just put a lot of LED stripes on the ceiling. And that's the, also the reason why I can't uh, keep these uh, plates there. Then with uh, that LED stripes the room should be lit up very evenly and also quite bright and it shouldn't cost too much. But I have to do some tests with uh, maybe a, a small sec section in the, in the back there where I put some LED stripes and then test how, how good the, the light will be on the floor and on the normal working height and have to figure out how many LED stripes I need for that. I already made a very rough layout of the room, how it could look like. It's really not finished because I haven't put a workbench in it yet. So the roll press is already on its final position in that layout. And maybe I will move it a little bit more to the right and put the surface plate left to it or right to it. I'm not sure about the surface plate, surface plate yet. And in this corner there will be the milling machine and it will take up pretty much all of that corner including the control cabinet that will take up some space. Here on the back right corner I'm not really sure what to do with that corner because as you can see here is a door to the outside. It's closed permanently at the moment but maybe it makes sense to reactivate that because then I have the stairs on the outside where I can bring down some heavy equipment easily. You can see it out there. There are the stairs. They have a, a little bit of a, a, a corner in the top but then they are straight and I think it should be pretty easy to slide down some heavy equipment there. And also the, the window, I want a new window there to keep out the cold and keep the noise inside the room because this is not very noise tight. Yeah, and so I'm not really sure what to do with that corner there because I would like to have the option to use the door there. So I cannot really put anything uh, solid there like the milling machine because I can't really move that around easily. Maybe I will put the, the bandsaw there so or something else that can be easily moved. So I can use that space but can free it up quite easily if I have to use that door there. So there's nothing planned yet. Here under the, the window it would be a pretty good space for a lathe. I have no lathe here. I have access to the lathe at my uncle's house but I think it would be much more convenient to have a lathe in the same room with a milling machine and drill press and that you have, don't have to drive around half an hour just to turn down something that takes five minutes. Yeah and uh, Here's a workbench at the moment. As I said, I haven't really planned the workbench in my layout yet. Maybe it could work to have the, the workbench over there, somehow in front of the door, but easily movable. And the lathe in this corner. But there I'm also not that sure if I want to have the lathe in the corner, because the accessibility won't be that good. And of course you might have spotted this perfect electrical installation. This has to be redone completely in the room here. 
It worked, but maybe not up to date. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell you about that room now. And as you see, there's a lot of work to do until this can be used at a workshop. So I hope you liked that short update and see you next time.